over the last few years, I've made an observation that I think pretty much holds true, and that is the people that have a lot of online friends, a lot of internet friends, especially social media friends, social media followers, the people that love to tell you how many thousands of Facebook followers they have and Twitter followers and things like that, how many people are following them on Instagram and TikTok and all that crap. Those people typically in real life have absolutely no friends. In real life, chances are anybody that will tell you, that goes out of their way to tell you how many friends they have online, they're probably a complete and total jackass in real life and they have no actual friends in real life, which is why they're so trying to sell you on the fact that they have all of these fake friends online. Now, I know two people, two acquaintances of mine that have huge Facebook followings, Twitter followings, whatever, because they love to talk about it, right? They always talk about these thousands of followers they have online, these online friends. And these two people in real life have recently had some major tragedies, I guess, in their life. One of these people recently had some major legal issues and was arrested. He spent some time in jail. He's got a lot of court cases. He's got a lot of real world problems, and you can see that it's weighing on him. And I, I, when he got arrested a couple of weeks ago, the guy couldn't even find anybody to come bail him out of jail. Right. But he's got 5,000 followers on Facebook, 5,000 friends. He, he loves to talk about it. He loves to tell everyone that like he's constantly telling everybody how proud he is to be such a popular guy on Facebook. Right. But he can't call somebody to come get him out of jail. Right. He, he can't call somebody to come you know, pick me up. You know, he'll pay the bill or whatever. He just needs somebody just to come get him. Nobody will do that. Right. And the other person that I know is very similar, thousands of followers on the face page, right? Or whatever, whatever social media site this person's on. And this person is in the hospital, terminally ill right now, doesn't have much time left. And no one will actually go to the hospital and visit this person, sit with this person. Why? Because in real life, this person is a complete and total a-hole. Right. So, you know, they've got all of these friends, but are they really friends? Obviously not. It's not a real friend if, you know, if you're sick in the hospital to the point where you probably can't even speak and you're on a lot of medication. They, they just won't even come by just to, for a few minutes just to say they were there just to pay their respects. Right. They have no respect for you at all to even do that. You have no friends. That's not, if you can't call somebody to come pick you up when you bail out of jail. You have no friends. These, these are the kind of people probably couldn't call somebody and say, hey, can you help me move a couch, right? <laughs> or something like that. You know, the kinds of things that nobody likes to do. Nobody likes moving. But, you know, do you have a friend, somebody you could call right now to help you do that kind of uh, crazy task that nobody likes to do? Moving's a perfect example because it's physical and it takes a lot of time, typically most of a day. And, and you've got to be a real friend to somebody to actually help somebody move, right? Do you have somebody like that in real life? If you don't, that's an issue, right? These fake online friends obviously are nowhere near you. I mean, they're online. They're just pixels on a screen anyway. Uh, even if they were living near you, they've never really met you in real life. You're just an online figure to them. They're probably, they're probably never going to really help you out of a bind because that friendship is not a real life friendship, right? That's just something that it's, it's pretend it's imagination. The internet is all imagination. And when you say you're somebody's friend online, you're not really their friend, right? It, we're, we're just pretending to be friends. Now I know I'm going to get some people in the comments of this video saying, well, I've got thousands of followers on the face page and the tweeters and, and all of that, you know, all these social media sites. And that that's cool. Uh, um, but I will say, are you like, it's different for, for certain people. Like if you own a company, and people are following you on social media because of business, right? That's different than they're not following you personally. That's like me, uh, you know, I've got Mastodon or whatever, and I've changed Mastodon accounts like two or three different times now. But it's it would not be unusual for me to have several thousand followers on Mastodon, right? But 
you know, I didn't go out of my way asking for those people to be my friends. They, they're just mainly following me, mainly to follow the channel, right? They're really following my YouTube channel. They're not following me personally. The people you really have to watch out for are just regular people that are doing just personal online accounts on these social media sites, right? Talking about everyday stuff. And they're the ones that are soliciting people to be their friends online. They're the kinds of people that sit around on things like Facebook and Twitter and they follow all kinds of other people hoping that these people will follow them back. And the reason this is, is because these type of people, you know, I have come to this conclusion, these people that have no friends in real life and they're typically really nasty, bitter, angry people in real life. That's why nobody hangs out with them in real life. These people though, they can't come to grips with that, right? They can't come to grips with something's wrong with them. That's why they have no friends. It has to be something else, right? And social media and the invention of the internet has now gave these, these kinds of broken people and out, right? They, they now have a way to pretend like, well, there's nothing wrong with me not having real life friends because I have all these online friends. Those are real friends. Those count, don't they? And in my opinion, no, those, th those people don't count at all. If those people won't come pick you up, if you need a ride, or those people won't even come by your hospital room, or if you're, you're at your house and you, you know, you don't have much time to live and they won't even come by to pay their respects, just, just to say, hi, I was here, you know, it, th are those real friends? I don't think so. And surely this is not just something that I've noticed. You guys, l let me know in the comments, do you know a lot of these people, th these people that love to tell you how many followers they have on the face page and what they're doing on Twitter? And they love talking about the controversies, especially that they stir up on sites like Twitter. They're very proud of that because they feel like, you know, for them to go and just stir some shit up somewhere, right? <laughs> and stir up a hornet's nest, that somehow means a lot of people are interested in them. And that's validation for these people. Ultimately, what has happened is they they need something. They can't talk about all the friends they have in real life. So they found this this number, this metric, this this number on a screen, this friend number, follower number, subscriber number, whatever it happens to be. That's the number they use to validate their existence, right? They have now latched on to that because they really can't latch on to anything in real life because in real life, they are a complete and total failure. I really think this is an example of how the internet and social media, how they've damaged society. Because if the internet and social media especially weren't around these broken and damaged people that struggle having real world relationships, they could do something about it. But it's actually the internet and social media that's holding these people back because w without social media there as validation, you know, the people that are mentally strong enough would recognize, hey, I'm the problem. I'm the reason I, I, I can't, you know, I'm, I'm not successful in real life, at least as far as relationships, right? I've got to work on that. And the strong ones would change and become better than they currently are. The weak ones, the ones that are mentally weak, they can't do anything about it. Unfortunately, you've always got that segment of the population that they're, they're just they're losers, right? And there's nothing we can do about that. But the problem is there are some that actually could change and not be losers and they could become winners. But we've got social media. They're holding those people back, a large percentage of those people back because that number that's on the screen, that follower number, that subscriber number is actually telling these people that are losers in real life, hey, you're a winner because you've got all of these fake online friends. And I know that's kind of a boomer take. I'm an old fuddy-duddy, and every time I speak out against the evils of technology and the internet, and especially social media, I'm going to get a lot of disagreement in the comments. A lot of you guys are going to say, oh, that's a horrible take, DT. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. And, and that's fine if, if you don't have these kinds of issues. If what I say does not apply to you, hey, just, just, just move on. But I'm making this video because I know a lot of you guys or like these people that I know that have no real life friends, but you've got a lot of online friends. And you know, that's, that, that's the most important thing in your life in some cases is all of those followers that you have on social media. And if that is the case, if that is you and you know it's you, if that's you, I strongly urge you right now after watching this video, go and delete 
all of your social media accounts. Trust me, the minute you do that and you have to start working in the real world, you will become a much better human being and hopefully you will succeed at life. Peace, guys.